Hello, viewers out there. It is Kiddy, and welcome to Waystone episode and I, I think, yes, it has to be. In our last episode, we made this a uh, uh, little chunky-looking volcano, and uh, I, I have to um, confess something. I haven't watched the boat thing. Uh, I probably should have done that before this episode, but I, I, I'll. I'll get to it later. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, in our last episode we built this little thing, we detailed it a little bit and we made it spawn-proof-ish. Um, yeah, mostly spawn-proof or something, but I am very, very excited and happy to make this episode because I have a couple of very positive things happening. So uh, first thing, I disabled this village reader because oh, we I don't need it anymore. I was trying for the longest time to get some good mending villagers. I managed to get one for like 38 emeralds or something uh, for a mending book. And I managed to get another one for a mending book for exactly like the same thing. So still 38 emeralds. But I have got this a little magical thing here. So um, hello, mister. Or miss. Miss. I'm not sure. Look at this pretty thing. I love it. I love it so much. The other positive thing is in this chest. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I managed to get myself a trident uh, basically right after I got uh, the mending book. So I uh, I was like followed by a couple of drowns and one of them had a trident and I was like really furious at the guy because he was trying to fork me with his evil stupid sea fork and I killed him with my non-looting sword and I got this trident. <laughs> So I'll probably put some mending and I'm breaking and is it riptide? Do I want riptide or uh, Is it what is it called? It's like the the thing that comes back to you. Is that riptide? No, riptide has to be the the shooting from the water thing. Oh The other one is loyalty. Also, my island is now pretty cluttered with uh, things that do not belong So this is temporary. I just need to smelt up a lot of glass because we are going to need it in today's project and uh, yeah, I can't remember why this is here, <laughs> to be honest, but uh, it is. So uh, let's move inside because I have done some clearing off camera. I have cleared out all of the cobblestone, so this looks kind of cozy now. I also put down a lot of sea pickles in hopes that no drowns will spawn more. Turns out they do anyways. So that was a waste of time in sea pickles, but you know, it, it kind of works. And I think this looks pretty cool so far. We uh, still have a lot of work to do here. I need to clear this because I don't want this here. Maybe put in a glass floor. Uh, we are also today doing some smoke effects. Uh, purple magic smoke effects. And uh, maybe we can put like a portal room or something in here. That could be pretty cool. But this is uh, what we are going to do. If I... This is not what we're going to do. <laughs> this. So purple magic smoke is my thoughts. Maybe it would be illuminated. By some end rods or something that could be pretty cool i also plan to cover the whole bottom like one or two blocks above the water level with gray stained glass i was thinking black stained glass first but i think that would get too too dark or something i kind of like the look of the gray stained glass so i think we will go with that so my thought is now to get to work on this and to not have a time lapse because we have had time lapses like literally almost all of the episodes so far the way still in season four so uh, let's not do that uh let's rest our ears and uh let me get to work let me check that poll actually <laughs> and see if we should race it or not and uh i will uh, do something and then i will be right back to show you what i have done so i went and checked the poll and the votes say that i should not make this volcano taller which is probably pretty good because I, I really don't feel like making it taller at this moment, but uh, I have been busy, kind of, uh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't cleared this yet, but uh, it will come with time, within time. So I have made a little bit of an entrance here. I really like this little piece here that sticks down, that is like a little bit taller on this side and a little bit shorter. And then I kind of added <laughs> these poles and then I destroyed the purpose of this. But, but it's fine. I think this will work out too. Also, I started adding a bunch of glass. You know all that glass I had in that chalk box? The, the grey glass? Yeah, that's all of it. So we need to smelt up some more glass and get some more ink because I am fresh out of ink. Again. Oh well. 
So let me talk a little bit about my plans here. So as I said before, I want a dragon about here or something. I also thought that it would be cool if we had the portal right around uh, in the middle here, maybe something like this. Maybe a little bit more back here or something. Yeah, that could be pretty cool. Maybe we have some smoke things going up and above. That could be pretty cool, pretty nice. But yeah, kind of happy with this so far. I might just tweak it a little bit as we go. Also, I want it pretty dark in here, so I have to figure out a solution to that. <laughs> Oh, there's a squid. We can kill him. But it is about time that we go and uh, get some ink sacks and smelt up a couple of more stacks of glass and uh, gather a few more resources. Boop. Aha! Ooh. And that was the very last piece of glass. That was actually two and a half stacks more and uh, it actually covered it. And there's a dolphin. I have to say though, I tried this with black stained glass, not like the full thing, but like six blocks or so. And I really like that. It looked so cool, but I think it would get too dark. And of course there's a squid now. And I've been looking for them like everywhere. <laughs> Uh, it's my luck. But instead of using only black stained glass here and having to brutally murder a couple of more squids, I decided to go with the gray one. And I think that looks pretty cool too. This is of course my texture pack, so um, it's clear glass. I, I like my clear glass, okay? I thought instead we could actually use the black stained glass for some spooky decorations. Like, yeah, that could look pretty cool. Like a shadow or something? Yeah, I think that would be... <gasps> I did not just do that. Oh my god. Of course. Oh well. Um, It's my luck. We've had luck with the trident and uh, with the mending villager. I'm not going to curse it now, hopefully. Um, Can't be lucky all the time. But I thought we were going to start with our little portal. And this is the reason why I put those pillars here if I didn't say that before. I want there to be kind of a reveal entrance or something so you can see it through here a little bit and then you have to kind of walk this way and around to see it fully because of course my dumb dumb brain built this on a diagonal and we can't have diagonal nether portals now can we? No. But um, yeah so uh, let me figure this out a little bit more and uh, then we can start on the smoke. Taking a little break from our project today and I went over to spawn and I saw something pretty amazing. So the spoiler wall that was there in the last episode, do you, do you remember that? I have to show you this. Ha! Look at this. I mean, wow. Just wow. But that has to be enough with the distractions. We have to get back to base because I have a couple of things to show you. And uh, we also have some things that we have to get done today. <laughs> so, uh, whoop. And we are now back at base and I have done a couple of things. I have spruced up this little bit here. I have also put in the portal as you can see there. I uh, spruced up a few more bits too. Um... Yeah, I might have gone a little bit too far <laughs> with the decorations. Uh, didn't really mean to do that, but hey, it's done. So I won't complain. And this is the portal. I think it turned out pretty well, I guess. I've, I'm not really sure. I uh, tore it down a couple of times and rebuilt it. Um, more times than you can ever imagine. <laughs> also, it is off-centered, which is um, hurting my soul deeply, but you know. What can I do? I, I really don't feel like tearing all of this down and rebuilding it a block to this side. So, you know, it, it has to be what it, what it is. <laughs> I went with a more organic kind of look at the bottom. And remember I said that little arch type thing at the top that I wanted? I, I kind of succeeded and then I kind of accidentally made it look like an eye. But you know, that, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. And if you can see those like black stained glass things, 
I, I just thought that side was empty, so I just put something in there. I, I'm not sure if they're staying, but um, it, it looks kind of cool when you actually notice it. <laughs> also, I started on the smoke. I think there's too much pink for now, to be honest. <laughs> but I mixed in a couple of grey stained glass panes, and uh, if you see it there, there's a little white one too. Also, like the purple and the magenta ones as well. I think that worked out pretty good. Like when I added the white glass panes, it just, like everything just came together. <laughs> it seemed like it was certainly missing something. Like if you look at this piece and then you look at this piece, it feels more whole. I don't know. I haven't started on the top of the smokestack yet though. So uh, what what is the story here? I, I think the story is that this portal is either it's very hot or it is some kind of magic smoke or something that just crawls its way up to the sky or something i don't know if crawl is the right word but i said that anyways um yeah so we have a little uh, very improvised enchantment station here the point with this was to make it look kind of broken and just um yeah improvise something together also i have a little bit of uh, if i can jump up here a little bit of light back here it's not the fanciest thing in the world back here but you're not supposed to see it either, so it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you can see this, this carpet here, that is basically the layout of the dragon. So I'm thinking I'll put the head right around here somewhere. And I don't want like a normal dragon. Oh, also, cave turtle. They do love this volcano. I kind of want it to look like one of those sh Chinese dragons. Is it Chinese? I'm not really sure. But those, uh, it looks like a long snake with a dragon head, basically. And I think it has paws on the front and claws and things and legs in the back or something. Not paws, like just legs, I guess. <laughs> so the head is supposed to be here, then it's supposed to just go around all of here. And then maybe right around here is where the back legs are. And then its tail is just going to go out to about here. Or that is my plan. But that is something that we don't have time with in this episode. Because I need to get the smoke done. I actually want to show you on the outside how this looks before we actually do some work up there. Because I think there's going to be a huge change up there. Also, it's going to be illuminated. Which is going to be cool. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Already this looks like it's puking um, pink. <laughs> it's a little too girly for me. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I will probably tone down on the pink and just go with the, the purple. And the magenta and the, the blue. And also I will tone it out with some grey and some white stained glass. I think that is going to look pretty cool. But for now I need to get to work. Because this smokestack is not building itself. I don't think this fella knows what to do with himself. He was dancing in the water before. Oh look at him, he's so sad. Aww. Anyways, as the sun rises, I can tell you that I have been busy and I, I want to show you this before the sun actually rises too much. Ha! And you can see all the clutter in the in the corner. Woohoo, I have to clean this up. <laughs> it, my base is such a mess at the moment. But uh, yeah, this is what it looks like so far. I'm not sure if it's exactly what I wanted. I wanted there to be a little amount of smoke, like not just swarmed with the smoke but just like a little tiny bit it looks kind of magical don't you think i think it does kind of it reminds me of a uh, you know that hat from harry potter that talks <laughs> i i haven't watched too much harry potter but i know there's a hat that talks and he's i think he's really rude i am i'm not sure um but it kind of looks like that hat <laughs> it doesn't look like much from here but if we take a little flight later, then we will see that it actually looks kind of cool. Kind of ish. I might tweak it, I'm not sure. But yeah, so this is what it looks like from the inside. There is more glass now, as you can see, but not much has changed. And uh, yeah, we have the portal and the dragon we won't have time for in this episode. We will make it in the next episode. This, this thing, this thing, and the smoke. Is what we made in this episode and not a single time lapse i i kind of feel empty because we haven't had a time lapse but oh well we have had so many time lapses lately so i i don't think we need one in this episode let's see if we can fly it looks kind of cool like it doesn't look that much 
of that hat from here. Or does it? It doesn't really look like smoke though. But you know what? That is actually everything I have time for today. So uh, I, I thank you so so much for watching. And until next time, eat your broccoli and I will see you later.